Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ma bada habita fi Allah avoid the umahat al-qara'ir the major uh, the mother uh, of sins the mother of the major sins and this is another hadith explained by Shaykh Saleh Sidlan rahmatullahi alayhi wa rahmatin wasi'ah and a beautiful hadith and will be very concise and try to bring about some benefits to show us the importance of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and some very important sins to be aware of and to avoid. An Abdullah ibn Amr an Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal Al-Qabair al-Ishraq billah wa akuk al-Walidayn wa qatl al-Nafs wa al-Yameen al-Ghamus أخرجه مسلم إن هذا حديث صحيح مسلم أخرجه بخاري إن هذا حديث صحيح البخاري الحديث عن عمر بن عبد الله بن عمر عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم the prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said the kabair meaning the major sins and and then he mentioned إشراق بالله committing shirk with Allah سبحانه وتعالى worshiping others uh, besides Allah or worshiping others with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ta'budullah ka'annaka tara worship Allah alone uh, worship Allah as if you see him uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in kitab al-kareem wa qadha rabbuka la ta'budu illa iyahu wa bil walidayn ihsana Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and worship Allah alone wa qadha rabbukum worship uh, your lord wa qadha rabbukum وَقَضَى رَبُّكُمْ الَّذِي وَقَضَى رَبُّكُمْ وَقَضَى رَبُّكُمْ أَلَا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ بِوَالِنَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا And your Lord has decreed for you or ordered you, commanded you with وَقَضَى رَبُّكُمْ أَلَا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ That you do not worship anyone except Him إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ Except Him, Him and Him alone Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wubil walidain ihsana. And to parents, be obedient. So be obedient to parents. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala coupled obedience to parents with tawheed, with the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. So shirk is the opposite of that. It's one of the major sins. If not, it is the biggest sin. Sin. Wa'a'dhamma amr Allahu bihi a tawheed. And the greatest thing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded with is tawheed. Wa'a'dhamma naha an huwa shirk. And the greatest thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most severe thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibited us from is shirk, is worshipping besides him, other than him. And so, then the Prophet ﷺ said, as far as the major sins, he said, Al-Kaba'ir ishraq billah, is shirk, with Allah. And he said, Wa'akuk walidain, and being disobedient to our parents, disobeying your parents. Humiliating your parents, embarrassing your parents, cursing your parents, attacking the honor of your parents, threatening your parents, stealing from your parents, not listening to your parents. When your parents order you and command you to do so, you avoid it because you want to follow your desires instead of being obedient to parents. Going to jail and, and disrespecting and disobeying your parents, disobeying a law, these are the major sins. Those are the evil uh, sins that uh, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates. And those are the attributes of the wicked sinners. So it's upon us to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to make tawbah to Allah And then the Prophet ﷺ said, وَقَتَلَ nafs," And then he mentioned killing, you know, un unlawful killing, killing people. This is evil. This is wicked. This is one of the greatest sins you could commit. وَعِيَادًا بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ وَالْيَمِينَ الْغَمُوسِ and swearing, uh, you know, giving false testimony, swearing and lying, saying, Wallahi, I did that, when you know that you did not do that, and swearing by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, and so, these are some of the major sins. Wasahibaha finar. And the one who does this is heading to the path of the hellfire. Those are major sins to be aware of. So what we learn from this hadith is it shows us the danger of falling into these wicked sins and that these are not the minor sins, but these are the some of the major sins. 
And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al -kareem, uh, <clears throat> in regards to the, uh, you know, you know, avoiding the, the major sins and uh, seeking forgiveness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al -kareem, وَلِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ لِيُجْزِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسَاءُوا بِمَا عَمِلُوا وَيُجْزِيَ الَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُوا بِالْحُسْنَى الَّذِينَ يَجْتَنِبُوا كَبَائِرَ الْإِثْمِ وَفَوَاحِشَ إِلَّا لَمَامَ إِنَّ رَبَّكَ وَاسِعُ الْمَغْفِرَةِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Najm, verse, uh, verses uh, 31 and 32, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And to Allah belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth, that He may requite those who do evil with that which they have done, meaning punish them in the hellfire. This, this is the evil torment for those ones who do those major sins, who disobey Allah, who disobey your parents, who kill people unlawfully, who do a swear, knowing, swearing by Allah, knowing that they're swearing about a lie. Wallahi, I did this. Wallahi, I'm going to do this. And knowing that what they swore about is a lie. Wa'iyadhan billah min thalika. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And to Allah belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth, that he may requite those who do evil with that which they have done, meaning he's going to punish them in the hellfire, and reward those who do good with what is best, Jannah. And those who avoid great sins, and al-fawahish, meaning zina, illegal sexual intercourse, except the small faults, verily your Lord is of vast forgiveness. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all forgiving. In Allah, Verily Allah does not forgive uh, uh, that you commit shirk with him, meaning if you die upon shirk. And he forgives other than that for whomsoever he pleases. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives. So you can come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I urge myself and my brothers and sisters to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and may Allah forgive us of our many sins. Some of the great benefits that the Shaykh mentioned about this hadith, he said, khutura cha shirk wa a'dhamu. He said the danger, this, this hadith illustrates for us the danger of shirk and how great it is, meaning how severe it is. And then also the second thing he mentioned, he said, a'dham akuk al-walidayn. This is a great fight and something we've said, we've mentioned with regards to Tawheed, uh, that this hadith illustrates for us that being disobedient to your parents is one of the greatest sins and that Allah mentioned it along with shirk, similar to the way Allah mentions in the ayat or I mean, the Prophet ﷺ, uh, mentioned that along with, sh uh, with shirk. And similar to the way Allah mentions tawheed and being obedient, uh, obedient to one's parents. وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّهُ بِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا And your Lord decreed for you to, that you worship Him and Him alone. And to وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ uh, إِحْسَانًا And be righteous and obedient to parents. So being disobedient to parents and committing shirk are major and severe wicked sins that Allah, that are mentioned together, showing how severe they are. Obviously, shirk is greater than being disobedient to parents, of course. But it just shows you that it, it's that the fact that it's been mentioned along with that showing how severe it is. <clears throat> and the last benefit the Sheikh mentioned with this hadith, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon him, bless him with Jannah, Tafardos, Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. He said this hadith also illustrates the danger of killing someone without the right to do so, meaning that they're not getting capital punishment or anything like this. People who are murderers, people like uh, extremists like Boko Haram and ISIS and Al Shabaab and, and all these uh, wicked uh, Takfiri groups that are extremists. All these people they kill and they kill and claim in the name of Islam when they're far from Islam and Islam is far from them. And then he mentioned swearing based on a lie, meaning saying, Wallahi, I did that when you know you didn't do that. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us all with ilm and nafid 
ورزق ورزق طيب وعمل متقبلا ورزق واسع وطيب وعمل متقبلا وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد